is Samuel. Yeah. Can you tell us a story from Tanzania in regard to water supply? Okay. In Tanzania, the water supply is actually, I can say, it is not sufficient, uh, especially in, in uh, rural areas. Uh, while uh, the policy, uh, the national policy, the national water policy of 2002 states that every uh, Tanzanian has to access water within five kilometers, but uh, it is still uh, controversial as uh, the, 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 the policy has not been uh, attained. And, uh, Still, people go for a long walk to fetch water. Uh, some of them can go uh, more than or beyond 15 uh, kilometers to, to get water. So you can see the way time is being wasted looking for water, while other resources uh, and other needs are not attained. Yes, that is the situation in rural areas. How has the government is? Okay, the government, um, I think it tries to attain or to, to fulfill the policies, but still not yet encouraging, not yet promising, as many of the rural areas still suffer with this shortage of waters. Yeah. Finance, have you done enough to finance the water sector? Actually, um, um, I can't know more about the government uh, initiatives, but uh, there is actually an emergence of civil societies who are doing a lot. For example, KINAPA, our organization, is trying to uh, to fulfill the policies, is trying to to get uh, opportunity, opportunities for uh, the rural areas to get the water. Uh, for example, the school uh, primary schools, we are supporting them to get uh, rainwater harvesting tanks, in which uh, they could get water within some reasonable distance of less than two kilometers. Uh, we also try to connect uh, the supply of water with hygiene and the sanitation by constructing the sanitation facilities in the schools we support.